a section of youth leaders from a rural city appealing to the government to establish a scaling hub within the city so as to help enhance the number of young people from the city seeking to have training under the presidential initiative of scaling the young people which is a government program the presidential initiative on scaling the girl stroke boy child project is an initiative that seeks to skill the masses most especially the needy to acquire skills in courses like hairdressing baker and tailoring among others so as to empower them to be self-employed citizens to attain this mission the government established a number of skilling centers across the country as West Nelson Bridgeon currently has two operational centers found in Zombo and Ajuman district as another is being developed in Koboko district to cater for the West Nelson Bridgeon the youth made this call during Arua City's youth day commemorations at Toreku Primary School playgrounds in Ivo Division on 30th of August 2004 where in to Simon the Mayor Youth Council of Arua City believes that the city indeed deserves to have a scaling hub because of its overwhelming population. My, my, my prayer is that if government can help us with at least one uh, industrial hub for Logbara Belt because um, they already, there's, a one, uh, there's one industrial hub in Zombo and then they are constructing another one in, in Koboko. But Logbara Belt is left like that. And also Ajumane has. So if they could bring it here in a rural city in particular, we will really be grateful because that one will serve our young people and they will promote. Because the people, the young people who went to, the, to attain the, the skill in the other side, the one who came, are really doing wonders. The skills that they got there is really superb. Levi Dema, who represented Honorable Forte Emmanuel, the member of parliament for Ivo East Division, says that Arua City deserves to have a scaling hub because of its cosmopolitan nature. We are requesting our government to establish a new skilling centre for Arua City. Arua City is the most population regional cities. That's why you see Aluruzi here, are here, the here, big population. Kakwazi are here, the big population. All the tribes in West Nile are here. Even Atoli Saburijon, they are here. All tribes are here. And the youth, is, if, you, if these youths are not empowered in terms of skilling, there will be another threat tomorrow. Faida Kamfat, the Female Youth Council of Ivo Division, says that as the representatives of the young people, they will continue pushing for a rural city to have a skilling hub. Uh, as we leaders, we shall continue to advocate on behalf of, on behalf of our youth because a rural is large and when you take the population, even the area coverage, a rural is very large. So that youth centre, which is which is there in Koboko, is supposed to be here in Arua City. So we shall continue to advocate for that centre. If you are told that one remains there, they have to also bring. They have to also bring another centre here in Arua City, so that our youth should benefit and the numbers of beneficiaries. To increase. Similarly, Doreen Onyiru, the Female Youth Council of Arua City is hoping to now present the demand before the Speaker of Parliament Right Honorable Anita Mong in their forthcoming meeting with youth leaders of this country. Next week we are going to meet the Speaker of Parliament, that is Anita Honorable Anita Mong, with the councillors of Arua City. We are also going to present this as Northern Youth Councillors. The Speaker has given us that invitation and honour to meet with her. So we are going to present this to the Speaker and it's going to feature in the flow of parliament and our parliamentarians are urging them they should really take this onto account that our young people have to benefit from this presidential hub brought next to them. As a country, we have to agree that government cannot employ us all. But how can we overcome the, the burden of unemployment? It's about mindset change. We have potentials to come out of poverty. It's just how we set our mind. Youths in Arua City joined the rest of the world in commemorating the Youth Day celebrations, 
on the 30th of August 2024 under the theme Skills Development for Enhancement of Youth Opportunities, where the demand for a skilling center in a rural city and the anti drug abuse messages dominated the speeches of the day. Farish Majid, West Nile TV, Nalkas. Jump, jump.